July 20th marks the 10th year that the Falun Gong meditation practice has been persecuted by the Chinese Communist Party. And now in Washington, D.C., practitioners are gathering to mark the solemn occasion. NTD's Ben Hedges reports. No, I never thought I would have to be here after 10 years. On the doorstep of the most powerful government in the world, a plea for support to end a tragedy thousands of miles away. On July 20th, 1999, there was a uh, declaration by the Chinese government about Falun Gong, and they were out to eradicate all Falun Gong practitioners. Yet this discipline is practiced by millions in China and many in the West. It helps people with their overall health, their well-being, and it instills in you great virtue. The three principles are very simple, it's truth, compassion, and forbearance. The Chinese regime's decision to persecute this peaceful practice is baffling to many. Terry Xu, a professor of engineering, has been practicing since 1995. I improved my health and mind. I feel my heart very peaceful after practice Falun Gong. And uh, before I practice Falun Gong, it was difficult for me to sleep in the night. But uh, just after I read the book from Falun, I sleep very well, very well from that time until now. Mr. Xu's status as a professor at China's prestigious Tsinghua University did not allow him to escape persecution. More than 20 policemen stormed in my home without showing any ID. They arrested me and detained me. They deprived my right to hire a lawyer. Terry tells us about the persecution he endured. Without the legal, without the legal procedure, they sent me to two years of labor camp. After Mr. Xu was released from forced labor, he made it to the United States, where he and his family now live. Some of his students weren't so lucky. Mr. Zhang Lianjun is my student. He detained for the jail for eight years. Falun Gong practitioners in the United States have organized this rally every year for the last 10 years to urge the American government to play a part in putting an end to what Terry Hsu and others like him have endured. And people like Congressman Chris Smith are listening. And we've got to petition the White House and the Congress to say, let's pivot, let's turn and say, you know, we stand with the oppressed, not the oppressor. For Terry Hsu, practicing the Falun Gong exercises freely again brings back memories of a happier time, a time that inspires him not to give in. I want to see the world to the world, whole world stop this evil, most evil persecution to Falun Gong. This is Ben Hedges, NTD News, Washington.